beautiful souls. I am Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. And I'm sitting here with Cindy. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So we're going to pull some cards. We're just going to do a general reading uh, for the week. We're going to pull some cards. Um, just get a general idea of the energy for the week. We're going to pull some cards for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. I might pull a couple of past life cards and animal cards. So I'm going to shuffle and see what comes out for uh, general energy for the week for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And I might see if my zodiac cards. Yeah, try use zodiac cards too. I've got the cards that I pick to use is the angels and, and ancestral oracle cards, and also the keepers of the light oracle cards. Okay, and I did pull Michael out too. I was really drawn to them this morning. All right, so I got, for the Divine Feminine, got Aquarius, and I love that we were talking about Aquarius earlier. Aquarius first is coming up, too, I think. That's uh -huh. Very soon. So bring love into the situation. This is going to be Aquarius New Moon. We're going to be coming up on that Aquarius New Moon next Right, next. because we just had um, the Cancer full moon. So next would be the Aquarius new moon. And then for Divine Masculine, I get adjustments are required. So what I love is um, energetically, it looks like it's on the same page. But I feel like Divine Masculine's not seeing the full picture and divine feminine just needs to hold love. Like it's on the same frequency, but half of the moon's hidden. Do you see? I see. I do see. And what I got too was take note of intuitive messages with the moon. So this moon is going to be the energies of this moon is still going on right now. And to take any messages that you're receiving right now and to use them to your full advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's holding this up is you're very close to achieving your goal. Mm -hmm. yep. And the masculine that I got was to be fearless and stand strong. Mm -hmm. The warrior. The warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I... I feel intuitively that there's definitely a, a past life connection with this divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So I'm going to shuffle and pull a couple of these. Do you have any more? I picked out the mirror guardian time to take time to reflect. So we should be look, reflecting over these past two years of what we have achieved and what is coming forward in the next step, what to take. And the next steps that we need to do is to go into hermit mode and retreat and recharge because the energies from this past moon has been very intense. I've been finding for a lot of people. It's been an emotional moon and the emotions that have been going through with people, they've had to purge and release a lot of emotions. And a lot of people are not understanding why all these emotions are coming up. And what's, why am I feeling this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. So there's definitely a past life connected to the uh, Greek Romans and the arts. And I love that there's a guitar here. So could be connected to music. You have a guitar um, behind you. I know, right? <laughs> How do you do that? So a lot of people too, and I don't know if they realize that sometimes you'll have a song and, and you're drawn to this song. And why are you drawn to that song? Those songs, the lyrics, just, it brings out different emotions in you. Mm -hmm. So there's sometimes a message in a song. So you should listen to your songs 
as if they have a message. Yeah. Listen to the love songs. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because bring love into the situation and then the songs. I definitely, I like that. And then adjustments are required. And this is the Greek Roman past life. Oh. But um, it really reminds me of how the energy feels right now in the collective. Anyway, it's dark, it's gloomy, and we're getting a little shimmer of hope, a little shimmer of light coming through the clouds. Um, which I think is needed for those adjustments required in order to move forward. Yes. And the one thing I got was to be graceful in movement and action, which is the shoulder master. This one here too. Mm -hmm. And the stag is trust and thrive. Yeah. So when you have that light coming in, we've had some the light. <laughs> We have to trust the stag, yeah. Are we having a stag and dough or what? <laughs> but also I got devotion from Krishna. So Krishna has trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally for Krishna. Um, that looks very similar to what's holding this up. And it's... <laughs> Asia card, but what was standing out to me the most, because I was like, this really isn't fitting the the um, the storyline that's being told. It's the yellow. Is that yellow? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So solar plexus. The solar plexus are, are in. Solar plexus is also your power. Mm -hmm. Where in and, and definitely a power couple. Yeah. And we have Paul the Venetian experience in grace. So share your gifts with grace, ways, inspirational love are coming to you. So this is what the masculine, the masculine is being shown in this picture. But if you look around, he's got the yellow behind. Him. Mm -hmm. So showing the power behind the male. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see what comes up for the feminine, see if anything comes up for the feminine, what she needs to do. Oh, well, we still, he's quite good looking. Oh, who is this? This is Mercury. Okay. And we are Mercury retrograde. Yes, the return of the exes. And it is open communication. Uh-huh. And it's get a weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard. Mm. So, so, so love's coming up two times now. Um, really tapping into that heart space. Oh, well, what's holding us up is love is all around us in this one. And then I have Quan Yin, care and compassion, choose to be loved, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. Mm -hmm. That's a feminine. She's got the flowers all the way around her. And the flowers are like orchids that are all around. Flower in bloom. Oh, look at this. That's, you've got a bloom, you got your sun shining right there. It's blooming. It's blooming. Hey. It's had a ding. <laughs> <laughs> let it shine, baby, let it shine. And you got the, you have, if from my, my view here, it's hitting your shoulder and it's going up and there, there's an angel behind you. I see yeah, it's, it's on my feminine side. Yep, the angel's behind you. I see your wings. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we have Bridget. She's red hair. <laughs> and it is inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Oh, I love that. Yes. And she's holding... A flame. She's holding a flame and it's a Celtic. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got your, your sun is just shining right on you. So bright. Uh -huh. It is beautiful. It is so beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got four divine feminine. I've got dog spirit, <laughs> which is a 19 card. Um, it breaks down to a 10. <laughs> I was just going to, I was going to say who that the dogs are. Right. And it says, be loyal to what you love. Oh, wow. And I got Lady Portia, divine order, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Mm. Yeah. And I'm hearing dogs right beside you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody must be home. So then uh, for Divine Masculine, I get the frog spirit. <laughs> We're, Nancy and I just want talking about kissing some frogs. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> this is also a 28 card, which breaks down to a 10. So um, masculine and feminine energy is on the same page when it comes to the numbers, when it comes to what, what chakras they're operating from, definitely operating from the third eye chakra. Um, pulling more love into it, I think is going to be key. Music, there's going to be a lot of messages coming through with the music. I feel that strongly. And I'm getting transcendence, which is Lord Shiva. So rise up and honor your inner force. Steps are being are given. Dance with me with the universe. I love that. He's got a little half moon on his head. And he's got snakes around his neck. It's a kundalini moment. Yeah. Let's see if I can. They're shining. We should we have our, our light shining behind us? We have our light shining behind us. Right. Both of us. Look right? at that. Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sunshine. <laughs> Mary, your angels are right behind you. They're, it's beautiful. Okay. And I and I see rainbows in that as well, too. Right. I feel like you're losing me though. Whoa, just got break. Right. Um, I'm just gonna pick one. So divine feminine. We've got Taurus. I mean, come on, hello, Taurus. I'm a Taurus. That is to me divine feminine energy. Yeah. And then for divine masculine. I get. I pulled out two. Virgo. Oh. Scorpio. The one thing I got, I have, this is the hawk energy, and it's high priest, intent, and, and intend and create. So what can you create? I like that. Right? So what are we creating right now? Right. What are they creating? There's a lot of birds showing up. I noticed... Um, when I was moving my my deck, this card popped out. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. Yeah. 34, which is a seven. And then nightingale spirit, love is all around. This is a 41, which is also a five. And I just got the fox right now. And this, the spirit fox is trust your talents in changing times. I love it. Right? So, <laughs> and I did get the hunter, which is track down your fears and desires. Oh. You do know I got these, these cars charged, right? Yeah. i tell you what, after coming back from Sedona, my cards 
or it's almost like they are part of me. Yes. Well, yeah. the, I got, and this was so funny. I got, I find that whenever I've gone into the next step of where I've needed to be, I always get messages from my angels. And most people, when they see a feather or they see something, well, what card did we pull? The guardian is the guardian angel, which is you are not alone, which happens to be a feather. Did you see how bright that is? <laughs> wow as soon as you said you were not alone it was like that's right you're not alone and your dogs are barking so you're not alone either i know somebody's trying to come in yeah all right last one uh, um now Oh, this is beautiful. This is a bird, too. Oh, I love that. It's the dove. And it says, great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. Look at what I just pulled, stepping into power. Into power. I mean, were you not just saying that? Yes. You are strong beyond measure. Yeah. Navigating by the stars. Yeah. Yeah. Mystic healers, what's holding this up? Oh, oh, and then I've got Oracle, wait for important information. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely important information that's going to be coming in. Um, should this happen before the end of Mercury retrograde? <laughs> you want me to, you think, you want me to ask? Mm -hmm. Happening before Mercury. When is Mercury retrograde? Well, we're a week in, so we still got two weeks. They're more important. Right. I got, I got the wolf and she wolf. Okay, so is when is the wolf's moon? Isn't that coming up? Isn't that in the winter? We, we just had one. I think that's what the, and it's, it's, this was a wolf's moon. Was it? I think so. But it was also Thor's moon as well, too. So Thor's moon was working with bringing in and bringing in um, energy mm -hmm. to work in the winter from the, from the north. Mm -hmm. or from the Norse to work with. And um, Freya energy as well, too. So yeah, we have both incredible. the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Those energies were working, and he works with um, lightning, and it was really strange in Niagara Falls. They had lightning, um, lightning when it was snowing. Mm -hmm. Very rare that you would see lightning when it's snowing. You know? Isn't it not weird? Mm -hmm. So, and um, there was, yeah. It, it was just weird how we had that. So like, sometimes we'll see things and it makes you think, is this, it just makes you think. Mm -hmm. But it, we're supposed to un unleash the wild within. So we're. Well, that would definitely be Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> A little root chakra action. <laughs> Release the wild within. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this for the divine feminine or for the divine masculine? Uh, well, Scorpio's on the divine masculine, so I'm almost feeling like push and pull, push and pull. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking that. <laughs> okay, and we have. Oh, we have, I can't say his name, Mavatar Babaja, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. <clears throat> He's got stars behind him. Definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, he's, he's got the blue, so it's divine masculine. And it looks like he's got an astrology behind him as well, too. Mm -hmm. So there's astrology and it's the planets mm -hmm. and I feel the planets are aligning things up where it needs to be. 
-hmm. And this is for this divine feminine, divine masculine planet for lining up. It was in the stars. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's all I'm, I've got. Do you have any more? No. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that's, that's, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. okay. I think it was a beautiful reading. Thank you for jumping on and Thank you. doing this with me. And if anybody would like to do a reading with Cindy and I, we can definitely put our wisdom, knowledge, intuition. It's a ding. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. Together to do so. All right. I love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.